April from April's Home and today I'm here with my July grocery haul from Trader Joe's. Um, I stocked up on a bunch of fun food for the summer as well as the upcoming 4th of July holiday and just my regular monthly grocery shopping trip. So um, before I get into that though, I thought that I would share with you a couple of very fun goodies that my children had requested um, that if I spotted them in the stores that I should buy them and I was in Walmart picking up some household goods and things and found a couple of fun um, sort of special edition items, you know, that they put out, uh, sort of the novelty foods that they've been putting out lately. Um, so we found um, Pop-Tarts in A&W Root Beer flavor. They wanted to try those out, as well as the Crush Orange Soda flavored. So Root Beer and Orange Crush Pop-Tarts, which uh, were fun that we finally found those. We'd been um, hoping to find them and trying those out. So we got those. And then I also found two other fun things um, because of the new Ghostbusters movie coming out. So I just had to get these. I was a huge Ghostbusters fan back in the 80s and this is called Key Lime Slime Twinkies. None of us are really huge fans of Twinkies, but I just think the novelty of it being Key Lime Slime will be fun and it'll also be fun to have on hand um, during the holidays uh, coming up here, the summer holidays, as well as my daughter's birthday coming up. I'm sure we'll have a bunch of company, so it'll be fun to bring these out for everyone to try. So Key Lime Slime Twinkies, as well as White Fudge Marshmallow Twinkies, uh, because of the Stay Puffed Marshmallow uh, monster there in Ghostbusters. So these are limited edition Twinkies if uh, anyone else is a fan of Ghostbusters and I thought it was really fun to find those. Okay and now on to my regular groceries. Let's see I picked up some uh, frosted shredded wheats as well as some of this crispy rice cereal back here. I thought I would make some Rice Krispie treats for 4th of July and um, I got some Trader Joe marshmallows as well. A couple packs of those. And then I bought some organic shells and white cheddar macaroni and cheese for lunches or side dishes. And I got a, another jar of tomato basil marinara as well as a jar of their Alfredo sauce. My husband found these banana slices. They're sort of like a freeze-dried banana slice. They're unsweetened that he thought would be a good snack. And I got some little baby potatoes as well as the cinnamon apple snack sticks which we love. We also stocked up on some different variety of apples. These are ambrosia apples and they smelled really, really good. I also got a couple of these Envy apples that also smelled really good and looked nice. And then a bag of the little teeny tiny gala apples. I love the size of these. They're so um, easy to eat. And then a big bag of navel oranges and a lemon. I bought three different jugs of apple juice to try out. I got the fresh pressed apple juice and then the organic apple juice so I could um, see if I could tell the difference and if I had a favorite. And then I also picked up some apple grape juice. I love apple grape flavor. Then I stocked up on pasta. I got some orchietta, some macaroni for macaroni salads for the 4th of July. Got a couple bags of those because during the summer I know I'll be making macaroni salads. I got a big bag of rigatoni and some panetti and some fusilli. So the little spiral noodles which I like for pasta salads. Um, I got some of this chocolate syrup organic midnight moo and I thought this would be fun for the kids to use either for ice cream sundaes or chocolate milk. And I got a couple of sparkling waters, some orange and lemon. And I picked up some chips for um, barbecues and things, probably for 4th of July, as well as some tortilla chips. I'll probably make a side of nachos or perhaps a dip to um, serve as well. And I got some taco shells for a taco night. I only got a little bit of dairy um, because I actually intend to go to another store where they have some of our favorite yogurts and things. But I did get the low-fat cottage cheese as well as a couple of these lemon low-fat lemon yogurts. I really like these. We also got this jar of unsweetened applesauce. And then we stocked up also on some of our frozen veggies. I love these bell pepper strips. I use them all the time uh, throughout the week for various recipes, so I got those. I also love the fire roasted variety that have bell peppers and onions, so it's nice to have the onions in those sometimes. And some peas. I also thought that I would try out this grilled cauliflower. It looked really good. And then I got some shredded hash browns for our um, hash brown casserole. 
We got a couple bags of those. Um, I tried these asparagus spears a couple of times and now we just love them. They cook up so nicely and they taste really wonderful. So I got a couple bags of asparagus and then some french fries to have on hand for the summer. These mac and cheese bites are really good for appetizers in the evening or um, when I want to supplement a leftover night. Sometimes we'll have leftovers and then later on um, while we're watching a movie or something we'll have appetizers and these are really good for that. I also picked up some party size mini meatballs so I can make some sweet and sour meatballs if we have company and some of the Italian style meatballs for a quick fix uh, pasta dinner. Um, the kids love the little miniature tacos. This time I decided to try out the mini chicken tacos. And I also got a bag of the chicken um, tenderloins. And then I also thought I would try out their turkey corn dogs. Occasionally I just uh, get a craving for a corn dog and I thought these looked really good. So um, here's a little four pack that we can have for lunch one day. And I picked up some Swiss cheese and some ground turkey for dinner time. The price on this ground turkey was wonderful. It was only $3 a pound, so picked up that. So that is my grocery haul from Trader Joe's, and now I'll go ahead and share with you my two-week menu plan. Here is our meal plan for July 1st through 15th. On Friday the 1st, we're having chili dogs and fruit salad. On Saturday the 2nd, we're having chicken alfredo and broccoli. On Sunday the 3rd, that's my daughter Sarah's birthday and we'll be eating dinner out. On Monday the 4th of July, we'll have our 4th of July barbecue. On Tuesday the 5th, we'll have Santa Fe chicken casserole and cornbread. On Wednesday the 6th, that's leftover night. On Thursday the 7th, we'll have tortellini casserole with Italian veggies. On Friday the 8th, we'll have German pancakes and sausages with apples. On Saturday the 9th, we'll have nachos for dinner. On Sunday the 10th, we'll have turkey burgers and fruit. On Monday the 11th, we'll have bacon asparagus linguine pasta toss. On Tuesday the 12th, we'll have leftover night along with some appetizers. On Wednesday the 13th, we'll have salmon patties, veggies, and rice pilaf. On Thursday the 14th, we'll have hamburger pinwheels and green beans. And Friday the 15th, we'll have spaghetti and meatballs with broccoli. So that is our meal plan for July 1st through 15th. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe for more videos from April's Home. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.